Under the palm trees on the Atlantic side of the island of Dominica lies the Kalangago village, an area open to the public where you can learn about the first people to settle in the Caribbean, the Kalinagos. Also known as the Caribs, the Kalinagos were forced to flee from the surrounding Caribbean islands in the late 1400s after Christopher Columbus captured and killed many of their people, turning hundreds into slaves. Those who survived were pushed into the top right corner of Dominica, which plagued by the rough Atlantic Sea, made it a difficult spot to fish. It is also thought to have the worst soil on the island. Today, just three and a half thousand Kalinagos remain, and many make their money from tourism, giving tours, educating people about their history, and selling their handmade art and craft. We were given a tour of the village to see how the original Kalinagos lived and how they survived. They made canoes from the trees they found on the islands and sealed them up with tree sap, for example. Their main community building would have looked like this, and we were taken inside to watch a traditional dance. And of course, again, fishing was very important to our ancestors that we would also make. Percussion instruments were the main source of music. These dancers are doing a basket dance, which demonstrates the gathering of food. This dance demonstrates the importance of fishing in the Kalinago culture. Before I knew it, they had me joining in. I was a little rusty at first, but I soon got the hang of it. Then we were taken to see how the Kalinago people lived. So this behind me is called an ajuba, which um, is protection from the sun. So they would build two. One is for the morning rising sun, and then the other one is for when the sun is setting for extra protection from the other direction. Boys would live with their mothers until they turned 12, and then they would move to a separate part of the village to sleep with the men, as men and women slept in different huts. We were shown how they ground maize to make traditional bread over a fire. Lastly, we were taken to see a beautiful waterfall running into the sea. And amongst the beauty, I couldn't help but think how sad the Kalinago's history was. They've lost their language now and were gripping tightly onto what culture and heritage they have left.